Hey guys and welcome back to Post for Nem, such a harsh and unforgiving world where today I thought we were going to be going around and doing some dimensional transceiver business, which unfortunately there is a little bit of a problem with and I'm, I really can't show you it here because right now I'm still receiving power here. So we need to go to one of the universe's most pointless test worlds. Okay, so basically this lot is nothing. In fact, I can even destroy all this. This dimensional transceiver here is doing nothing. Nothing at all. It is uh, a part of testing that was going to happen, but unfortunately, as soon as I noticed something, didn't. Over here, this creative one is just to test, uh, just to fill this cube up. But you'll notice that this dimensional transceiver isn't quite full of energy. It is holding at not quite full of energy. But this one over here, oh my gosh, is constantly, constantly draining. And unfortunately, I am not producing enough power to counteract that. Not yet. I don't have enough Eulorium. Uh, I love this time of day, but let's go back to the other world. So instead, as conduits are relatively cheap, you know, we can make clay and stuff out of automatic machining and conductive iron is just iron and redstone, you know, the stuff we get from just random cobblestone. Uh, I think we're going to uh, wire up this entire base. Now, I I can see some sort of trunking core going up here. The problem is, of course, this goes out to... Oh, actually, no, this is really good because just above there, hang about, is this section here. Look, that that's the water trough down below there. So we could run a trunking line up the middle from the reactor and the main battery storage to power all our stuff around here. So I think we're going to do that. Um, I, I'm not really going to counter that. Uh, sorry, I'm not really going to tackle that straight away. The thing I want to do first, well, we heard them out here. Let, let's go and have a look. These guys, they are super not useful here. There are some machines that we can use, though, that will make them super useful. And also do one of the other things we need to do to get the laser mining on the go. You will remember, let me break out my book in the quest line here the advanced tech i believe yes we had the lasers to fall and we needed to make a pink slime crystal now last uh, last episode i was under the misapprehension that maybe we could get it from a strawberry slime or something like that even whilst i was editing the last one that is what i had assumed but i was wrong oh yes pink slime actually comes from the mine factory reloaded mod there we go pink slime crystal comes from mine factory reloaded it's actually a byproduct of the slaughterhouse which is up here somewhere so i want to start making this uh more of a thing i have a space over the other side of my island here it's not really an island is it but i am bounded by water and on all sides it's a river but it's close enough what's that oh it's a little bit of gravel this space over here i think would make amazing farmland i'm even considering actually turning a lot of of this into pasture and then having uh, a hideous factory section somewhere so yeah let me go and uh, get rid of all this stuff that was in my inventory for what i thought i would be doing and we'll come back with what we're actually gonna do hey twitch yogi five <laughs> Okay, it's time to do some good in the world for these wretched creatures that I have brought in here. I did not get any wheat though, so I cannot control them. 
There's always at least one item that I forget. So you might have noticed that there's some milk back there. I completely forgot about that, if I'm to be honest with you. I tried to get some milk out, and then I was like, mm, no. Uh, and then I managed to double-click it or something silly like that, and it all went horribly, horribly wrong. Hey, guys, how's it going? All of you, please come with me. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're going to leave all those items laying on the floor, and we're going to wait for everyone. There's actually more cows here than I thought there were. We're going to have a little bit of trouble, I can see, on the side here. They are carpenter's blocks though and they seem to be having a little bit more trouble breaking than I was expecting. That's because they're not made of wood. Alright, sweet. Everybody, follow me. No? No? Oh man. Are you, sh are you sure you guys haven't got some feline in you somewhere along the line? Okay, this is good. Let's just see if we can get a few of them over. It's not really going to work this way, is it? Um, let's go this way then. So we'll let the cows come down. We'll just follow them along the longest course. There's some guys back there that don't want to play games, but that is fine. Hopefully everyone's just going to push each other. We can try and get the uh, scragglers at some point. Now I want to take these around the other side, as I said, but I also want to get a whole load of stuff. Uh, the first one is, of course, off of Twitch Zhongi there. Cool. That, that enables us to put the floor down. Uh, I think we're only going to be able to make it across with a couple of cows. These guys don't seem to be able to traverse the obsidian wastes all that well. Not to be... Ex uh, not Well, I suppose that is to be expected. There we go. That's the phrase I was looking for. As I, literally all I have done with these guys is create them from goop and then bring them uh, out into a fence and put them there. So that it's not really surprising that they don't know how to walk and stuff. They were all holding up each other inside the pen. So, you know, it, it's quite hideous what I've been doing to these guys, really. That thing there, I'm going to get rid of it. Come on, guys, come, come with me. Uh, I think these guys can start wandering around now. That, that's fine. We will put them inside the pen that I'm going to make them when we've built it. Okay, so I think this general size I want is just, just a few cows. We don't want to make it too square and regular because, you know, that's that's how you end up with, like, blocky builds and stuff, right? This is looking pretty good. I'll just add a few posts around. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Let's get rid of that. That, that, that was uh, a little too disorganized. Oh, there we go. Brilliant. Uh, I didn't make any fence gates, so this might actually become a little bit difficult, but that's fine. We will figure that out as we go. Uh, perhaps even we can have ourselves a building around somewhere. But here we go. First couple of freed souls, because that's what happened there. Come on, Twitch Shongy 5. Come on, quick, before they realize they can also get out. Brilliant. Brilliant. I do love their dancing. It's so free-spirited in a way, you know. So I'm going to just go around and put down a few bits of dirt. I, I don't really care too much about keeping it within the bounds, but I'd also brought something else that would be nice. We'll just pop this down. Now, if I was farming sheep, I would obviously need more than just the one, but as we're doing cows, we can just let this grow. That guy over there, I'm not sure if I want to keep him. He's been there for a few episodes now, and he doesn't seem to be causing any harm. Just kind of hanging out, you know? Right, you, are you in for coming around to this block over here? Could you do that for me? Let, let's see. Now, hopefully the cows won't be able to make it out of that corner block. This this is traditional. I believe it's a, a fairly standard thing in almost every version of Minecraft that they can't make it out of this corner. Let's just have a look. Yeah, none of them really seem all that bothered. But we just happen to have exactly the right amount of wheat to breed these guys up. So I think we're going to do that. Because we need a pair for a hideous breeding experiment. I'm not sure where we're going to build it. Probably underneath the floor here. Yeah, I think so. And then we can have a tunnel entrance to our base. Oh yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Those of you who are watching closely will see that there are a few uh, crop sticks sticking up around here. I am trying to take this planter... Oh, look, all this rot. Lovely, I'll take that. I'm trying to take this planter out of the loop here and start this guy farming wheat because we're going to need a lot of wheat for the farm animals. It's already done a cycle on one crop, which I then went and picked up all the wheat for but we've also made a breeder and a slaughterhouse now these two are obviously going to come to play in the management of our 
cows. There are a few more cows on the other side of the building, but just for demonstrational purposes, I'm going to steal this cow here. Now, hopefully we can get them around the water. I knew he was going to run straight into there. She, I suppose it is a female cow. We get milk from her. She has udders underneath. Uh, it's most definitely female. Hey over there, Mr. Mayan dude. I'm not sure who that was. Right, come on down, Betsy. We need to get you into this horrible little place that I have made for you down here. You will recognize this as a breeding cell. I was supposed to put a conveyor belt on the bottom, but I started cooking plastic and then everything is kind of still cooking. Right, how do we get the cow around here? I'm wondering whether I need to go get the conveyor belt. I think I'm going to. Hold on. Ha! Ran all the way to my base just to remember that Twitch Young E was cooking them. Oh well, that's uh, good enough for me. So we put those bars across the top, have ourselves a bit of iron and conveyor belts. Now that is far more than I need. I only really need one for the bottom of each cell because we are of course going to be doing multiple animals inside the civilization quest line. We have quests for all these animals. Now out of these, three of them are not farmable, the cat's horse and the wolf, but the cow, pig, sheep and chicken we should be able to fit in this contraption that I am making. Making. Built a new tunnel, by the way. So of course the cow has tried to escape, but I'm going to put this one pointing yonder because that is the way I feel it needs to be done. And we're going to pack more than just one guy into this cell. What is that cow doing? Hey, come on, come on down here. Come on back down here. There is a hive around here somewhere. It was annoying me whilst I was making that tunnel. I really need to do something about that. Did, did my robot stop you getting up here? I'm, I'm sorry, Miss Cow. Right, let's try and get behind it. I'm not sure how well this will work. Boom, great. And hopefully, yeah typical holding cell. Now, the slaughterhouse is going to go down below. In fact, it's going to go a little bit lower than this. Twitch Yongi 5 has my uh, pickaxe. Let's clear some room. Oh, don't, don't kill him. If he, if he dies, we, we don't get to keep our stuff. So you can see we've got a little drop pit here. Now, to deal with that, we've got a breeder. And the breeder works on a 5x5 five five area. You'll note that we are 5 wide here, so we can dig it into the wall if we liked. But I think what I'm going to do is put it right here. Yes, right here. Um, that's the wrong way around. That's fine. We can deal with that. Thankfully, one of the things that I keep inside Twitch Yongi is a crescent hammer. Is it shift click? No. Uh, maybe that doesn't have a front face. Yeah, no, it does have a front face. Okay, let's let's try that again. One, two, three, four, five. No, no, we're not we're not getting a spin. This this worked. This worked the other time. Come on. There we go. Spin it all the way around. That That's what we're after. So that breeder's going to sit there. This is one of the things that we need to feed the wheat into. Um, I, well, there's no real point putting it in there right now because they've got no one to breed with. But down here, a little bit underneath it, I think maybe this many blocks, we're going to put a slaughterhouse. I know, disgusting that I would even consider it. Let's try and get this face in the right way again. Oh, there we go. It did it. Okay, cool. I'm not going to argue too much with that, just because we didn't see it actually happen. Uh, see, ah, sorry. Just because we didn't see a cause doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. So we get meat and pink slime. Oh, look, it's got an internal buffer for each. That's pretty cool. The, the tutorial that I had watched said you only really could get it out of tubing. Okay, cool. I think if we're going to get some more cows, we're going to be time. F this is going to be time for a test setup. Okay, so we're going to do a quick test run. I kind of know that each of the individual components work, though, because you can see there's power that I can assume got into there via the wireless when they were inside my inventory. This has already done a few deaths as I uh, accidentally killed a few that were coming on over. I had just a single walkway and they fell in and died. Uh, so I kind of know that that works. And the breeder, I had to stop because it was, oh, it was going too much. So if we turn that on, this should now start to breed them as 
as long as the idle ticker can go down. Yeah, okay, so that is ticking down. Well, not very long to go until we should start seeing hearts. I wish I had made myself a way up there, actually. Uh, the other thing I need to do is take out this and let a few babies down. Now, ah, oh, there, there they go. Sweet. Let's push you back there, buddy, because I was supposed to have filled this bit in already. Uh, perhaps if we knock them, they will get out of the way. Brilliant. Now, that's going to be my collection pit. Now, you will see that the slaughterhouse does not immediately kill them. Oh, no, you need to wait until they grow up, which, unfortunately, in this version, you can't increase the growth rate with... Um, with wheat, so that's a little unfortunate. No, 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 no. Oh, that was also unfortunate. But let's push this guy back in and then everything will be okay. And I'm gonna need these for later. All right, I think it's time that we went and did what I have been threatening to do. Let's walk on through. How do you think the decoration went? I think this has been very nice. So you can still we see uh, you can still see that we've got the breeder and the slaughterhouse down below. I moved these tanks to here so that we could have easy access to them. Uh, I've got a little bit more just to finish up around the outside. I was um and ahhing about these guys back here about whether they actually needed filling or not. I've decided that no, mainly so that I could uh, come along here and fill this in like this. Brilliant. Awesome. We'll have to figure out a better lighting solution. Uh, yeah, I named this place uh, Paradise Farm because, you know, this is where all the nice cows come to end their life. Uh, and so let's throw on the, the breeder, shall we? You can see that I've had a few down below that was kind of spill over from getting the breeding stock up together. But now, hopefully, as soon as this runs... There we go. Look at all that love. All that love that happened there. Now, there should be... Ooh. This was not how it worked in testing. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a uh, of a, a flyout problem, something like that. This is not something that can't be fixed. I'm gonna do that, and that that should definitely fix our problem here. Let's see if we can't shuffle these guys in. Go on, go on. No, not like that. It's not gonna work like that at all, is it? Okay, well. We're just going to have to make do with that. There is still more love on the go in there. That We're all good about that. Yeah, go on. In you go. No. E even when he wanders off and around, it's not really going to work. So we've done this so that we can start uh, collecting up the pink slime here. We're going to be a little way away from that. Oh, yes, indeed. Because we're going to have to wait for these guys to, uh, to breed up. Maybe I need to put a mummy cow underneath so that these guys will path to it. I'm not entirely sure about that but anyway i would say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure i love that little limestone cloud behind me i will see you next time when we're going to do a few more things about sorting out this cow making it 100 percent efficient but mainly we are done here uh but we're going to spend most of tomorrow making a dirt machine i know that sounds super exciting and it actually it should be but yes i will see you then when we're gonna do that Ah, oh, zoomy weird, oh weird zoom.